Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amy. Welcome, it's so nice to have you here. This video is a little bit different to the ones that I have posted in the past. It's more of a sit down chat style video. If you're coming here from my Instagram, then you'll know that yoga is a huge part of my life. So I wanted to take this time just to kind of dive into my yoga journey, what I've learned along the way, where I am now, and then my plans for the future. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So I think it's important to start this video off by talking a little bit about my past before I even experienced yoga. So from about the age of four up until about 20, 21, I have been pretty into dance. I did jazz, ballet, contemporary, hip hop, but dance and movement and physical activity have always been a huge part of my life. They really do help balance me out and keep me really grounded emotionally, mentally, physically. So it's always been a huge part of my life. Now that's not to say that you can't start yoga with no experience or background in anything movement based. There are so many people out there who never have done dance, who have never really done much physical activity that go into yoga and thrive. But I think it's important for me to mention my background because I do think that having that experience from such a young age has helped me transition and flow into yoga quite smoothly. But I also wanna say that I have never been as flexible, as strong, as mobile as I am now. Even in all my years doing dance, I never had what I have now. So I think that also says something. So after high school, I went off to uni. I studied acting for stage and screen. So again, movement being a huge focal point in my life. We did movement classes, lots of stretching, dance classes and theater work. It was a very physically demanding three years. So I was still staying relatively active and this is actually when I had my first experience with yoga. So a bunch of my classmates were going to this yoga class, so I went. I don't really know what my expectations were. I think I had a cliche idea in my head of what yoga meant. And to me, I was never really interested in it. I can't remember it a whole lot, but I'm pretty sure that it was a more restorative yin style class the teacher was telling me to breathe into my feet and I remember just thinking that's not possible bitches be crazy and I just thought it was really wish-washy airy-fairy and just not my cup of tea I didn't understand why I would pay 10 15 dollars for our class when I could essentially just do that for free at home I just didn't like it a whole lot. I would even go as far to say that I kind of hated it. I just thought it was really pretentious and really stupid. The next time I experienced yoga, I'm out of uni. I'm getting pretty well established being self-employed. I'm working from home, working part-time as well at this point as a fairy at kids' parties. It was also during this time that I was getting into the gym lots. I was lifting weights and getting into weight training. I really enjoyed the feeling of being strong. I was living with my sister at this time and she actually found a online subscription yoga class. I think it was called Yogaya from memory. They offered a week long free trial, which we both signed up for, and we just started doing yoga together. And I wouldn't say it was an amazing experience. I don't remember it a whole lot. I just remember doing it and being okay with it, but I wasn't super inspired. I didn't feel super passionate about it. So once the week long trial ended, I just kind of left it and again was like, okay, yoga's a thing. The third time I tried yoga was the charm. This was when me and Daniel decided that we wanted a place of our own. We wanted to have a house that we could fill with our own things. And so we started looking for places to rent just for the two of us. I was working from home full time now. So creating a space and an environment where I could work and live and be really happy was really important to me. I just loved the West Coast beaches of New Zealand. So I expanded my search to there and that's when we stumbled across this beautiful humble abode. If you are coming from my Instagram, you will know this place well. It is my sanctuary. She is so beautiful. I love living here so much. But if there's one thing that you need to know about where we live, it's that it's a mission to get to. We've got a cafe and a general store and then the RSA bowling club and surf club. But besides that, it's a beautiful beach town and you're not coming here for the civilization, I suppose. So when we moved here, one of my first things that I ran into was how am I going to stay 
healthy and strong and active without a gym because at this point my idea of staying fit and healthy meant going somewhere and doing something either going to dance classes or going to the gym so for the first time in my life i was starting to consider what my options were if i wanted to work out stay fit and healthy from home i realized that nature was the most amazing gym i could ask for i got a little bit into running but i hate running yeah i'm gonna say that i hate running really wish i could get into running but i just it's just it's never been a friend of mine. And so I just started experimenting with a bunch of different styles of working out. I was doing plyometric style, calisthenics, and then I remembered good old yoga. And I was like, maybe, maybe I'll give it another chance. So I started looking on YouTube and there's some amazing stuff on YouTube. I think I just didn't find it. I was doing a couple of classes and I was getting more and more into it. I really enjoyed stretching because now it was starting to become one of my main forms of physical movement. That and I was really loving plyometric and calisthenic style training. So lots of body weight style training and yoga just kind of meshed really well with that. And while I was doing this training at home, I should also mentioned that at this time I did not have a yoga mat at all so I was putting down towels and blankets and we've got like solid hard wooden floors so it hurt a lot and I had a lot of bruises on my knee and it was maybe two or three weeks of doing that that I realized just get a yoga mat so I got myself a yoga mat I think I even did a post on my Instagram I could probably pull up the exact day that I bought my yoga mat and started my yoga journey and I don't know why I was enjoying it more now I just was but it was still very surface level and then I discovered the world of yoga on Instagram and oh this just made my view of yoga go from here to here and I started to see the amazing things that people are able to do. I started seeing the handstands, the inversions, the insane deep back bends and flexibility that some people had, the contortion. Like Instagram just gave me this new view of yoga. I will say now that it was those very flashy, fancy and tricky style things that definitely got me hooked. So for the first year of my practice, I was very much into my inversions, my handstands, the back bends, trying to get deep in poses and trying to get poses that looked really cool. And it was around this time that I started photographing my practice and sharing it with people on Instagram. And I found this community of people on Instagram that I just fell in love with. And everyone was so supportive of each other and so kind. And I was learning so much from all of these incredible yogis and becoming really good friends. And I'm really grateful for Instagram for getting me hooked and also connecting me with so many incredible people who I truly can say I freaking love. So at this time, I'm doing YouTube classes. I'm looking at Instagram for inspiration. I'm trying to recreate people's flows that I see, postures that I see. I was definitely more in love with it, but my practice was very unstructured and imbalanced, I'm gonna say. I would do poses that I was good at and that I liked doing, which meant that I got really good at some things and then other things I just, I just avoided. Things like side plank, like standing poses, I found them boring and I just didn't want to do them so I just never did them so I got bad at them so whenever I had to do them I hated them more and so the cycle just continued. So self-directed learning at this point was starting to kind of get to the end of its baby games. Because I was coming from a dance background I kind of had a natural ability to pick up a lot of poses fairly easily especially the ones involving back bends and hamstring and hip opening because I had obviously done a lot of that from my dance days and I wasn't practicing for any certain amount of time or any kind of schedule. I would just kind of roll out my yoga mat and then just move around however for how long ever. So that went on for quite a while 
of me just self-directing my learning. And then I found Allo Moves. Love that app so much. It has been a game changer in my at-home practice. Allo Moves is a online yoga subscription. I think I pay like $30 a month for it and you just have access to the website and they're constantly putting out new content, new flows, there's new teachers. There's so many teachers on there. So many different styles of class. There's vinyasa, hatha, ashtanga, there's meditation, there's hit training, there's skills and mindfulness. It's just, it's everything. So I found this and I started doing actual classes from actual yoga teachers that weren't just on YouTube for like 20 minutes. And I started to learn a lot more about the different parts of yoga. I was starting to learn a lot about breath and bandhis and drishtis and mindfulness, meditation, all of these things that I had hadn't really dived into before. And through discovering those things, I started to discover a lot about myself as well. I started to enjoy yoga in a different way than I had been in the past. It wasn't just a place for me to do fun tricks and get deep postures and, you know, do the tricky things. It became a place for me to show up for myself every day, to tune into what I needed and what my body needed and what my mind needed and to just be with myself, to not get caught up in success or getting a pose or doing anything a particular way even, just stepping on my mat and enjoying my practice for what it is in that day. And this is a kind of a big topic to go into, but it made me realize that I was trying to seek my self-worth from the things that I could do rather than just accepting it as, as what it is. So that kind of brings me up to now where I practice most days for about 30 minutes to an hour. I'm in a really great place with my practice where it's really balanced. I'm doing the poses that challenge me. I'm doing the poses that I love and I'm giving myself what I need whilst also taking into consideration what I want. And I think it's just I'm in a really balanced place at the moment with my yoga practice and I'm learning a whole lot more about the less physical side of my yoga practice and the more, I guess you could call spiritual side of my practice. And I think this kind of goes really nicely into what I see for myself in the future. I've had this question asked to me a lot, especially in the last year of if I'm interested in yoga teaching or if that's something that I wanna do. And up until maybe a month and a half ago, my answer was no, that I was really happy with where my practice was and having my practice for me. But in the last month, Month and a half, I've reevaluated where I see my practice heading. I realized that I am really passionate about sharing this practice that has changed my life for the better in so many ways and sharing it with others and the people I love. And also just really want to be able to give people the best possible advice I could give. So I've started looking into yoga teacher trainings and it makes me really excited. On that note, if you've done a yoga teacher training and you have a place that you absolutely love, leave it in the comments below because I'm searching, I'm searching. Even if I just do a yoga teacher training to give myself a deeper understanding of yoga, I think I'm just happy with that. But then the potential to teach is always there as well. So it's something that I've been really excited about but also just keeping it on the down low because I don't want to rush into anything just yet. I'm really happy with just having my practice for myself right now as well and obviously with everything going on in the world, doing a yoga teacher training probably isn't going to be on the cards anytime soon but it is something that I've definitely found more interest in in the last month and a bit. But that's my yoga journey thus far and how I've kind of navigated the waters, started my own at-home practice and I guess self-taught myself, though I will say that a lot of what I've learned has been from yoga teachers that I have found online and I just can't recommend that enough to give yourself structure, to balance your practice and make sure that you're doing the things that challenge you just as much as you're doing the things that you love and that come a little bit easier to you. 
I guess my advice for anyone starting their yoga journey or in the middle of their yoga journey is to just enjoy it. I'm really thankful that I went through that phase of just wanting to do the tricky things for the fact that it got me inspired to just continue on with my yoga journey. And if you're in the middle of your yoga journey, make sure you're giving yourself time to play and do the things that you enjoy doing. I definitely think there is so much to benefit in having structure and to do the things that you're bad at as well. That is equally important you want to be giving yourself what you need as well as what you want showing up on your mat not taking it too seriously and just enjoying the process of where you're at currently there's definitely still times in my practice now when i won't be getting something as well as i think i should be getting it but as long as i remind myself that i'm just there to enjoy it and to not necessarily succeed i definitely have a better experience i'm going to be doing another video soon all about how to start your yoga journey and what you need what you don't need where to begin, what to do, all of that sort of stuff. So if you think that's something that you'd be interested, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also it just really supports me and my channel and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay well, and have fun. Goodbye.